Hey everybody, Law Officer Patrick Hopkins bringing you a casual Friday blog post. Today we're going to go over some of the laws that came into effect in 2017, that is as of the 1st of September. Um, we've got a couple of categories here uh, that I think you will enjoy and some that are a little bit more controversial, so let's jump right in. So under driving we have two separate laws that have come into effect. The first one is texting while driving. Uh, as of September 1st, Texas is the 47th state to completely outlaw texting while driving unless you're at a stop at a red light, and even then they say don't text at a red light. Now, be aware that there have been many cities and towns that have their own ordinances against handheld uh, mobile phone usage, regardless of whether you're texting, talking, or using GPS, so be sure to look those up wherever you are. Uh, the second driving related law that came into effect has to do with ride sharing services like Lyft and Uber. And uh, there was a big to do because the state was requiring background checks for these drivers and Lyft and Uber were leaving major cities over this. Uh, they have since revised these rules. Fingerprinting is no longer required, although they did reserve the right to do background checks on the drivers annually. Next up, we have fun with weapons. First of all, concealed carry registration fees have been dropped across the board. First uh, time applicants used to have to pay $140, now that's down to $40, and renewals have dropped from $70 to $40. It's never been easier to get your concealed carry license. Um, next up, we have knives, blades, and swords. Uh, used to be, back at least when I was a kid, you couldn't carry knives over a certain length. I think 5.5 inches was the maximum weight or the maximum length. Uh, that has now been abolished. You can carry swords, knives, other things in public places, although there is a long list of places you cannot carry these, pl these knives into, um, you know, hospitals, schools, and such. Uh, apparently the legislature thought that people going around and stabbing each other was going to be a much bigger problem than it turned out to be, so fun with knives. Our next category is laws that allow you to break stuff, which is great. Um, this one comes in response to people being left in hot cars, uh, such as animals, babies, and things like that. It, it makes it um, so that people who think that someone is in a car and is in trouble can break a window without being feared of being sued by the individual or the property owner. Um, this is under kind of a Good Samaritan law type deal. Um, there was already a law like this on the books, but that was just to protect the person from criminal liability if something happened to a person they were trying to save. So this helps them so that they are not civilly held civilly liable for the same type of action. A new hate crime law has been enacted this year. As of September 1st, if a police officer or judge is being targeted because they're a peace officer or part of the judicial process, it is now considered a hate crime. That's right, so it used to be only race, religion, things of that nature, but now if you attack a police officer or a judge, it can be considered a hate crime. Um, I have no strong opinions on this other than the fact that I hope we don't see a whole bunch of resisting arrest um, charges being brought up as hate crimes. I don't think that's how the statute is worded, but uh, we won't know until we see some people uh, you know, with these charges brought against them. Now we're gonna talk about a couple of laws that were passed but have been blocked either partially or fully by federal judges pending further review. This usually happens in a legislative session and we just have to see what the higher courts say. One of the bigger laws that was blocked was the sanctuary city law, which would basically prohibit cities from not uh, dealing with ICE officials um, during their investigations into potential uh, undocumented immigrants. Um, this has been blocked and it's likely that it will go up, but it doesn't mean it won't take effect eventually. Another unsurprising block is a new ban on abortions, that is certain type of abortions that are going to take place in Texas, and this has been blocked um, pending further review as well. And it's not to say that that's surprising, abortion is very divisive, and usually when a law comes along, there are people on both sides challenging its constitutionality. So that's all we have today for the Law Office of Patrick Hopkins update of interesting laws that have come into effect as of September 1st, 2017.